this task we were asked to create a directory collaborator under slash sysadmin slash data that's a directory so we have to create an app server too so let's connect to that app server too stf02 and then yes then call let me copy the password and paste it But we have to create this directory so if you do mkdir slash sysadmin slash data it's not gonna work because we don't have this directory in the system so we have to create this directory and inside we have to create another directory so for that we can make use of hyphen p option so that's a parent directory so it's gonna create this directory first then it's gonna create data in the directory inside it so sysadmin slash data that looks fine so if you look permissions of that directory and the slash so this is owned by root and uh, this has these permissions so you as per the task they ask you to change the permissions to this app uh, directory has to be owned by this group so let's do that for that we can use ch group so that's gonna change group permissions then the permissions are gonna be cs admin so sys admin so we have to do recursively so whatever the directory inside we have this last directory so it's gonna have the same permissions on the inside them okay let's give that a uh, group name sys admin Okay, enter. If you look permissions of that file now, it's been owned by sysadmin and we it got these permissions. But as per the task, the directory should be read, write, execute to the group owners. That means sysadmin and user as well. For others, we shouldn't have any permissions. So let's do that ch mode true with the two that's a special permission then do user first triple seven per, uh, sorry seven permission that's a read and execute for group read and read execute right read write execute and others should be zero and let's do this recursively then give that directory name that's it if i do ls iphone l, l under slash so others do not have any permissions that's it let's check 